assalamu alaikum uh, today i'm going to describe you how to find the estimated mean which comes in paper 2 normally ye takriban har dusre saal paper mein ye question aata hai to within 3 4 minutes we will discuss how to find an estimated mean estimated mean kaise find out ki jati hai theek hai acha ji so sabse pehle estimated mean ka formula discuss karte hain estimated mean is equals to estimated mean is equal to sigma mean sum of fx upon sigma mean sum of f this is the symbol sigma means sum of f means frequency tadad quantity x means midpoint of the class interval or sum of fx fx means the product of fx and the product of fx f and x means frequency and midpoint to the product aayega that will be the fx acha ji now the first step is to find the midpoint of the class interval theek hai the class intervals are this is the class interval the first class interval is zero S is greater than zero and lesser than or equal to ten. The the formula for finding out the midpoint of any two point is a plus b divided by two. A is the first point of the interval and b is the final last point of the interval. जैसे कि a आपके पास zero है यहाँ पे और b जो है वो ten है. So for finding out the midpoint, what you need to do, you have to add both the values and divide it by two. You will get answer five. Okay, so the first answer is five. The value of x. This is called the value of x. The second one is the midpoint of ten and twenty will be fifteen. The midpoint of twenty and thirty will be twenty-five. The midpoint of thirty and forty will be thirty-five. Forty and fifty, forty-five. Similarly, fifty and sixty, fifty-five. These are the values of x. These are the values of x. Now the second step is. After finding out the value of x, the second step is to find f x according to the formula. We need the value of f x. The value of f x. चल जाओ भाई, चल के नहीं रहे, नहीं चल रहे तो आपकी मर्जी है. The value of f x. Now, how to find the value of f x is to multiply. x and f you will get the value of fx the product of the midpoint and the frequency 5 and 4 when you multiplying them you will get 20 5 4 is a 20 then the second fx is 15 into 12 when you multiply 15 by 12 you will get the answer 180 similarly when you multiply 25 by 16 you will get let me start the calculator calculator mein dekhte hain hum 25 into kahan gaya calculator chalo rough work kar leta hu 25 into 16 it takes time paper 2 hai to hum time ko bachaye jaldi se calculator sahab aa jaye aap kahan par hai mere mobile mein hat ho gayi कैलकुलेटर आ गए हजरत अच्छा जी सो व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय सिक्सटीन यू विल गेट फोर हंड्रेड व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी फाइव बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री थर्टी फाइव बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री यू विल गेट एट ओ फाइव Now multiply forty-five by twenty, you will get nine hundred. And when you multiply fifty-five by five, fifty-five by five, you will get two seventy-five. So these are the result of f x. आपने यहाँ क्या निकाला? सारे result किस चीज़ के निकाले? These are the the ones we are, I am highlighting. That is the result of f x. Now according to the question, you need to add f x. In the question, the requirement is sum of 
f x. This is called this is called sum of f x. So sum of f x will be when you add all these numbers, you will get sum of f x. So it will be twenty plus one eighty plus four hundred plus eight o five eight o five. Plus nine hundred, plus two seventy five. It will be twenty five eighty. When you add sum of f x, you will get the answer twenty five eighty. And then sum of frequency, sum of f in the denominator. There is sum of f, sum of f. So sum of f will be the one which I am highlighting by the blue. That is called the frequency. When you add all of them, you will get the sum of frequency. Or यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन में भी अक्सर मेंशन होता है कि जो total number of data होता है, that is called the sum of f. So total number of student is 80 over here. So total frequency हो गई 80. Sum of f आपका हो गया. Sum of f आपका हो गया 80. Sum of frequency. Now according to the formula of estimated mean, there is sum of f x divided by sum of f. Now replace these. By its value, sum of f x is two five eight zero, and sum of f is eighty. When you divide two five eight zero by, when you divide two point two five eight zero by eighty, you will get thirty two point two five as an mean average, estimated mean average. So this is all about estimated mean. फिर से recall करवा देता हूँ. For finding out the estimated mean, you must know the condition sum of f x upon sum of f. What is f? What is x? What is sum of? This symbol is called sum of. Sum of f means frequency, which is which will be given to you in the question. X means midpoint. The first step is to find the midpoint. Midpoint. The formula to find out the midpoint is. दोनों को प्लस करो दो जिन दो नंबर्स का मिड पॉइंट निकालना दोनों को प्लस करो टू से डिवाइड कर दो सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल आपको तीन मार्क्स के लिए ये बहुत आसान एक टॉपिक है जो कि फौरन से तीन मार्क्स आप इसमें ले सकते हैं ठीक है अगर आपको वीडियो समझ में आई तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच इनशाला नेक्स्ट वीडियो में मैं आपको हिस्टोग्राम डिस्क्राइब करूँगा एंड देन कम्यूनिटी फ्रिक्वेंसी कर थैंक यू वेरी मच असल